Hey guys, welcome to uh, Sailing Foxy Lady. This is my full restoration of a 1973 30 foot Arista cap. Uh, please like and subscribe if you would like to follow our progress. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm just getting set up in the garage. Uh, I'm just cutting out my my CSM that I need for my my pieces, and I made a bench long enough that I can do two at a time. So one side. Uh, what, what I was going to do is make it like a sandwich, so I was going to make a big press. But I watched a few videos last night. And I'm going to just do it one side at a time, so I'll do one side, one side. When it's gone off, flip it over, two sheets on the other side. So I'm just going to do that for, for ease and save a bit of space, because space is a real real premium at the minute. Um, I think on my first video, or second video, whenever I started fiberglassing, I said I've never fiberglass before, or minimal exposure. Um, it's a bit of a lie. My first time fiberglassing was a couple of years ago and I fiberglassed uh, my pond, which is quite large. Um, turned out right actually, first time I've done it. I made a white mess like, everywhere, but I'll show you what I've done. So the pond is concrete blocks, and then I, um, can't think of the word, rendered it with concrete, uh, and then fiberglassed it, flow coated it, about three, two, three years ago now. Oops. Plenty good enough, I hope you like it. So that's, you can't really see in this in this light. Less six foot deep in this end. It's about five foot here and then four foot down there. That's a, that was a lot of fiberglass in from the first time. So yeah, me saying I've not fiberglass before, kind of a fib, but I didn't, I didn't, I'm not fiberglass detail, but my first time doing it is bloody great big sheets, getting it in under a tent, under a lot of pressure. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to capture now, just cutting out the, um, the CSM, and then what I'll do is I'll put you on a, oh, let's do a bit of music. Play music, it's not music, it's backing. I'm going to have music on, put on a bit of a time lapse, uh, put music over the top so I can get on, and pretty much forget that the camera's there. Um, I need to concentrate here. I don't want to keep talking to myself, explaining what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so I'll speed it up, bit of music over the top. If I need to voice over, over the top of it, then I will do. But I'll, uh, I should do that in a moment.
this is a quick chat. So as you saw there, hopefully, because I'll squiggle it fast. Um, my first two sides of the first two brace things I'm going to do for the galley. Um, so one sheet and two pieces of CSM. Another sheet, two pieces of CSM. So it's cut around the outside. Uh, what I'm thinking is I'm going to do the hard side either side. And when it comes to the bit that's going to get stuck in, i.e. the foamy bit, I'm tempted to dig a little bit out, put some epoxy in there, put, and then attach it on. Um, still not 100% sure what I'm going to do. The fact I'm using polyester resin, I can use polyester tabbing um, and do it that way. But I, I would, I think I would like to actually stick it in with epoxy and then probably just tab over the top as a, as a, as a precaution. But that's enough chatting for now. I'll put you back on on fast forward um, once I've got my stuff mixed up and I'm start wetting out, and we'll see see how it goes. This is this is purely um, this is purely new for me.
Hey guys, um, I always panic when it comes to fiberglassing or anything that's got a hardening time. I always rush it um, and don't take the time to make it perfect. I think this time I've appreciated, I've got, I've prepared everything correctly, had everything in front of me, took my time, and I think this will go off alright. So it's plenty wet, everything, there's no dry bits, everything's wet through two layers. Um, I've squeegeed out all the air. Um, so hopefully, you know, I've given it a good run over with a bit of roller. Hopefully, a couple of hours time, or however long it takes, these will be dry enough. I'll flick them over and do the other side and uh, see how it is. I'm going back to work tonight, so I'm hoping to get this done today. Um, just so, just, just these two. Just so I can see if it if it's something that's going to work or if it's terrible, and I've got to reconsider my my options. Um, and also, I want to try and catch it on this thing so I can edit it into a, a video later. But in my eyes, it's looking pretty good. Cheers. Hi guys, just got back from work. Uh, no idea when this will go live but it's currently easter weekend um just got back my glass that i've done last weekend has now gone off just gonna see how, how it is i had that big ass bit of um glass roll sat on top of it for weight and this to keep all level and here's the uh the sheets in question Super light. Ridiculously light. I can feel a slight bend. Um, you see it. So very light, feels very solid. I can bend it. A little bit, but I suppose a bit of wood that thick, you're gonna get a little bit of bend in it, not, not a lot. Um, yeah, one done. This one. That is just, just ridiculously light. I'll have to do a um, get some scales and get sort of timber similar thickness, um, similar size, and do a sort of weigh up difference. But I'm going to say it's not a quarter, but it's a good a good third of the weight, I reckon. Definitely less than half. Yeah, big fan. So, what I'm going to do now is get these ones done. So I've got one, one more reasonably large and then one smaller. So I'm going to get up here, get me a, a CSM laid out and trimmed, do all the preparation work and I'll get on the glassing. Um, I won't film the preparation, but I will film the glassing. Cheers.
Hey guys, let's turn the light on quick. Yeah, light on the matter. Battery. Um, okay, I'm just going to do the other side of these two bits that I've I done a little about an hour or so ago. I just trimmed them, flipped them over. Um, trouble is, I've only got that much resin left. Um, might be a bit of a bit of a squeeze, but I'll see what I can do. Along my supplier, who normally sorts me out with these like 25 gallon drums, apparently there's a huge shortage. Um, the factory in America that makes it and China is production's going crazy of stuff that where they need it. So there's like a massive like months long back backlog for industrial source of this. But I went through CFS fiberglass uh, down in Cornwall. I use them quite a lot to get all my stuff. Um, next day delivery. The next working day, tomorrow's a bank holiday, so I might not see it this weekend. So I'm going to try and squeeze out that last litre, litre and a half to get this done. But we shall see. Um, I'll turn you off now and I'll turn you back on and a bit of time lapse to music. Hey guys, right. I was a little bit stingy on the first larger one, um, but it seems stingy with the resin that is. Seems to be all right, so I'll give it an hour to kick and come out, see how it is, and then I'll put them together like I did before. A few bits of wood, a bit of weight on top, and just leave it overnight to uh, set perfectly flat. But that's it for now. Um, we'll see. I'll tune in other times over the weekend. If I don't. Um, and you've got any questions on, on doing this, where to get bits, you know, you, you've seen the way I'm doing it, there's no 
there's no um, sort of black magic to it. But yeah, if you like what it's in, please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Hit that the old uh, notifications bell. Cheers.